Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you four different methods of creating motion guide in Adobe Animate CC. I will show you uh, in very basic ways and then uh, you may want to apply based on the, what you need. So let's get started. Okay, so number one, uh, using Motion Twin. So let me create a new file, use 640 by 480 pixel and 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas platform. So let me create it. Okay. So, uh, so first is the motion twin. I think we've done that before. So I'm going to make a link to our previous video on top of this video. Uh, so first thing is, let me draw a one um, kind of a circle on top left corner, I'm going to move it to the bottom right corner. Okay, so first, highlight the frame, the first keyframe where you have your first red dot, your object, and go to Insert menu, and create Motion Twin. And on frame number 24, which is the one second mark, insert a keyframe by clicking this. So I have a destination. So on frame number 24, highlight it uh, using this move tool, selection tool, and let me move it to the bottom right corner. So this is kind of really basic. So we know how to do this. And then in order to change the path, uh, place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle of your path. Now you can see that kind of little arc on the bottom of the, your mouse cursor. And keep pressing your mouse button and drag it. And this happens. Also, you can insert any numbers of a frame keyframes in between. So uh, maybe somewhere in the uh, frame number 12 or 13, insert another keyframe. Now you can see that. And then you can move it. And you can move your object like that. So this happens. Okay, so let me preview it. Test the movie under window, no control. Test the movie in browser. Yep, so this happens. Okay. Okay, now number two, uh, using pen tool. So first I'm going to rename this new layer uh, as the, um, uh, the guide layer. This is a guide layer. So we're going to draw the guide line. Uh, which is kind of uh, my object will follow. So uh, just imagine there's a kind of roller coaster or any kind of flying object. So let me use my pen tool, set my fill color to nothing, and then a stroke color black. That's okay. So let me draw start let me start drawing from here, and then go to the next point. And before you release your mouse button, just keep pressing and drag it until you get the line you are looking for, like this. And before you jump to the next point, re-click that point so you can get rid of this handler, like this. Now go to next point and drag it. Click. I'm gonna draw more curve. Maybe like this. Okay. So this is kind of a my motion guideline. Like this. Okay, and then uh, we're going to turn this line and this layer as a guide layer. So hold down the control key or right click and click on your layer and choose the guide. You see that different icon like a T square. So this is a guide layer. Now let's make a new layer for the uh, kind of a flying object or any, any kind of vehicle. And then before we draw it, move this layer to the bottom like this. I'm going to name it, uh, since I'm going to draw a triangle, triangle. Then let me draw 
using pen tool, I'm going to draw kind of really simple triangle like this. And then let me fill um, in red, maybe like this. Oops, my pen tool, uh, paint bucket tool, fill it in. Okay, so uh, my uh, uh, plan is I want to move it from here to that point. Okay, so before we do that, <clears throat> uh, we're creating about maybe a three second animation. So highlight the end of three second mark on both layer by holding down the shift key and insert just keyframe. Okay, and then we need to move this triangle, which is the bottom layer. So somewhere highlight the somewhere in between. And then go to insert menu and create classic twin. Just like this. Okay. So on my destination, I want to move it to somewhere here, like this. And also on your first keyframe, uh, if you see that, there is a kind of a pivot point in the center. So just to kind of uh, place it at the very beginning of your uh, line, your guideline. So this is what we have. It is working, but kind of a little bit strange. Okay. And then maybe I'm on the very last keyframe by using this uh, free transform tool. I want to rotate it just like that. So this is what's happening now. Okay. Now it's time to apply this guide layer as a motion guide. So select your bottom layer, keep pressing and drag it to the top layer. It's kind of indented. See? And see what happens. Isn't it cool? But uh, it is not perfect because um, this flying object is kind of flying a little bit, kind of a weird, odd. So what I'm going to do is select your the first keyframe, and then in your properties panel, you're going to see that orient to path checkbox, check and see what happens. Oops. Check and play. See? And don't worry about this kind of guideline. It, it is invisible. So uh, we're going to test it uh, on a web browser on the controls menu and test the movie in browser and see what happens. Like a paper plane, airplane, or roller coaster. It could be anything. Okay, and also um, on the each keyframe by controlling this kind of uh, the ease options, uh, you can change the kind of a speed, maybe minus hundred, or you can choose different options from here, and uh, it will look like this, getting faster or getting slower. You can control. Okay, so this is number two. Now number three, using the pencil tool. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I will rename this layer as a guide layer again. This is a guide layer. And then choose your pencil, which is this. And no fill color and stroke color, just the black is OK. And then once you choose your pencil tool, in your properties panel, you're going to see this kind of options and choose the smooth. Let me draw this, kind of really simple, just like this. Okay, and let me create a new layer, and then I'm going to move it down, and this layer, I'm going to name it as a dot. And let me draw one red dot and no stroke color. So maybe I'm somewhere here. 
like that. Okay. Oh, and then um, I forgot that. Uh, select your top layer, turn the, uh, your top layer into the, your motion guide layer. So hold down the control key, click, and guide. Okay. So now let, let's make another kind of three second animation. So highlight the first, I mean the um, uh, layers, and then on the second layers by holding down the shift key on three second mark and insert just the keyframe. Okay. Now on your dot layer, select somewhere in between, anywhere, and go to insert menu and create classic twin. Nothing's happening yet. On my second keyframe, my destination, I'm going to move it to there. See the pivot point? So this is what's happening. Okay, now as you imagine, select your bottom layer and drag it to the guide layer, kind of indented like this. And this is happening. Okay, so let me preview it, test it, control, test movie in browser. Okay, says so that's good. So this is number three. Okay, number four, using the shape. So first, I will rename this layer as the other guide layer again. Okay, and then let me draw one kind of oval, just like this, in black. Okay, and then let me turn this into guide layer. So hold on the control key or right click on this layer and then choose the guide. Okay, so this is guide layer. Now create a new layer, move it to the bottom. I'm going to draw uh, maybe a red circle, no stroke color, somewhere maybe here, just like that. Okay, and let me rename it as a circle. Okay, so uh, we're going to create another kind of a three second animation. So let me highlight a three second mark on both layer and insert the keyframe. Okay, then also since we're moving, uh, animating this dot layer, uh, the circle, highlight somewhere in between the first and then your second keyframe of your bottom layer and insert create classic twin. Okay, so nothing's happening now. Okay, so uh, my plan is I want to uh, make this red dot rotate like the, like the kind of uh, orbit around this. So on one second mark, uh, let me insert a keyframe I'm going to move it to maybe somewhere here. So this is happening. But this is not what we are looking for exactly. So, again, select your bottom layer and drag it and indent it like this. So this is happening. Okay, and my on my two second mark, let me insert another keyframe. I'm going to move it to somewhere here, so it keeps moving like this, okay? And then, somewhere on me, maybe I'm somewhere here, like maybe a 68 or um, a 2 or a 3 more, 3 frames before the, the last keyframe, I'm going to move it to so I'm here, but I'm very close to the beginning. So this is going to happen like this. OK, let me preview it, test the movie, command return. So 
So this is happening. Um, just to make it kind of more interesting, what we can do is on each keyframe, I can change the size a little bit. Maybe here. Let me make it bigger using my free transform tool. Make it bigger. And then maybe somewhere here. Let me insert the keyframe and using free transform tool. I'm gonna make it smaller, just like this. Okay, so uh, let's test it again. So this is happening. It's like an orbit. Okay, so uh, I showed you four different kind of a uh, motion guide uh, things. Um, you can apply this on maybe um, any kind of a graphics or images or anything as you need. Uh, so maybe uh, next time I'm going to show you kind of a, um, another example using actual images. So thanks for watching and see you next time.